Hey everyone, it's Cameron from economytraveler.com and today we are reviewing Jetstar's Brisbane to Newcastle service. I started my journey on the Brisbane air train on the first service of the day from Brisbane City at 4.30am. Jetstar flies Brisbane to Newcastle three times daily and I'm on the super early 6am departure, which was the cheapest of the day at $63. Often though, I've seen this route on sale for even lower. The scheduled flight time today is 1 hour and 15 minutes. The airport was extremely quiet at this time, so going through security was a breeze. Whilst there were fewer stores open, it was still possible to get a nice hot cup of coffee. Our aircraft today was a 10-year-old Airbus A320, registered VHVGI. It was delivered to Jetstar in October 2010. Boarding kicked off without delay, which helped us push back right on time. The cabin has been refreshed with the latest Jetstar interiors featuring slimline seats. I selected seat 1F, which was an extra legroom seat at an additional cost of $12. Besides the extra legroom, I was able to be one of the first off the plane. Also, nobody selected or was assigned the seat next to me, making the flight very comfortable. I also wanted the window seat as I knew there would be some pretty great views with the sun due to rise midway through our flight. We took off on runway 01 right towards Moreton Bay before turning south over the Port of Brisbane en route to Newcastle. It was a bit too early for me to want breakfast, so I apologise for not having the onboard food to show, but you can refer to the Jetstar website for their menus. Typically, you can pre-order hot food such as toasted sandwiches, which come with hot beverages such as tea or coffee. They also came around offering the buy on board service. By the way, the crew were very friendly and professional and I had no issues with the service whatsoever. Newcastle Airport is the gateway to the Hunter region of New South Wales. It connects visitors to world-class vineyards, luxury resorts, national parks and stunning beaches. The hour-long flight time passed quickly with some stunning views above the clouds before we descended over equally beautiful rural landscapes that surround Newcastle Airport. Before lining up for approach, we caught a glimpse of Newcastle City and Port Stephens. I thought that our approach coming in just above the sand dunes against the sunrise was really awesome.
There isn't much traffic to contend with at Newcastle Airport, so it was a rather quick taxi to the terminal. Although Newcastle Airport is also a military airport, so sometimes you might spot some interesting aircraft when passing through here. Newcastle Airport is fairly small, but it has all the amenities you'd need, such as plenty of food and drink options, as well as car rental on site. A short walk out of the terminal, you'll find the public buses operated by Port Stephens coaches. The bus into Newcastle City takes 36 minutes and costs as low as $3.36, based on an Opal Card off-peak adult fare. When you arrive at the Newcastle Interchange, you can catch light rail within Newcastle or jump on an intercity train south to Gosford or even as far as Sydney Central. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more travel and aviation content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next adventure.